If you're a quiche fan, we have a recipe for you. Sauteed vegetables, smoked bacon, cheese, fresh herbs, all inside of a light and fluffy egg custard tart. The best part about quiches is that you can put any kind of filling in them that you want. They will always be delicious. So the first step is to roll out our quiche dough into a tart pan, prick it with a fork or a knife, and we're going to brush it with some egg wash. I will have the dough recipe in the description box. So the first step is to blind bake our shell. Preheat your oven to the hottest setting. We're going to take some coins or baking beans with some parchment paper and we're going to weigh down the dough so it doesn't rise. To blind bake your tart shell should take around 5 minutes. So while that's in the oven, we're going to start our garnish. Hot pan, some smoked bacon. You can literally put any kind of filling in your quiche that you want. This is just an example. Now I'm going to add some garlic. We're going to render the fat a little bit. Now we're going to add the rest of the vegetables. Mushrooms, zucchini, peppers. The peppers and zucchini I've cut in medium dice, and the mushrooms I've sliced fairly thick. Add some salt, and some fresh cracked pepper. So we're going to put a little bit of color on the vegetables. We're going to remove all the excess water, and lightly caramelize. So after a few minutes, this is what it should look like. I also have some zucchini blossoms from the garden. I'm just gonna throw these in. They have this amazing fresh zucchini taste. So we're just gonna wilt these really quickly and we're gonna take this off the heat. So about five minutes later and our tart shell is now cooked. So the reason why we blind baked our tart shell is to help prevent the tart shell from getting soggy when we add the rest of the garnish and the custard in. So we're gonna start with the garnish. I'm gonna put a little bit of cheese. Today we're using Gruyere cheese. And now we're going to make some layers of garnish. So a little bit of cheese, a little bit of vegetables, a bit more cheese, some herbs. When we layer the garnish, it makes it much more interesting. So while we're finishing with our garnish, we need to preheat our oven. If you have a convection oven, make sure to use the fan for this, and set it to 180 degrees Celsius, or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're gonna sprinkle some dried oregano, and our garnish looks good. We're going to finish with the custard mix. I'm gonna pour it over everything. So the quiche custard mix is five eggs, and one cup of whole milk. There are many different recipes out there, some that call for more eggs and less milk, or more milk and less eggs, or cream, but I find around five eggs to one cup of milk is a pretty good ratio. The more eggs in the mix, the more stiff the custard will be, and the more milk, the more delicate it will be. So we're going to cook this in the oven for about 10 minutes, and we're going to check with a pin. So we want to keep cooking the quiche until we arrive at something like this. There's a little bit of a bounce, and when I'm pricking the top of the pin, there's no liquid coming to the surface. That means it's cooked. And you also want to keep an eye on your quiche. You don't want to overcook your quiche. There's nothing worse than an overcooked quiche. So we're just going to sprinkle with some fresh herbs. Look at that. Perfect color. This smells absolutely amazing. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner, anytime's a good time for quiche. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see further recipes and techniques, please like and subscribe. Happy cooking.